Salutations wet shaver, Spencer here for a quick unboxing. I'm going to be unboxing a whole bunch of goodies here. We have eight straight razors. So super, super excited for this. Um, I was helped out by a guy named Stilzy and also helped out by Kai. Thanks buddy. There are quite a few really high end razors in here. <clears throat> he said, oh, only a couple of sort of shave ready. So he said just to sort of class them all as not shave ready yet, um, which is absolutely fair enough. Um, I'm still only trying to find homes that I like anyway, and I'm doing a shave after that's actually gonna test that. I got this bad boy from Russell over at Wild West Shaving Company. This is an electric razor. It's quite a small blade, um, but it's quite, it's a little bit thicker than some that I have, that I have, but I'm just keen to try this edge out. Maybe the edge will really sort of work for me. Alrighty, let's have a look in here. Whoa, look at that wrapping. It's got bandages over it. Oh no, that's a paper towel. <laughs> cool to lock moisture out. Beautifully packaged. Stillsy, I'm not sure if you watch my YouTube videos at all, but if you do, thank you, man. Really cool stuff in here. Just trying to make sure that these scissors <laughs> don't clip the straights. All right. Oh, one of my favorites. Damn, you spent a while packaging this, man. Good stuff. He must have already had it ready to go because he was, he was only selling it as the lot. <laughs> Which is fair enough. Oh. Oh. Oh my God. Jesus. The red imp. Oh. That is pristine. Look at that got some initials engraved into it. B-A. Holy crap. <laughs> it's um, Solingen still made in Germany. That is absolutely stunning. Holy crap. Wow, they looked pretty good in photos. That looks incredible in person. I'm pretty sure one of them in here is like a big wedge too, so... He's actually after a Feather ASD2 as well, which I've got, so we may be able to organize up a trade. Oh my God. I can't remember which one this is, but this is fat. Parker. This is a Parker straight. This thing is huge. <laughs> Holy shit. Man, that they are, none of them are overly, like none of them are pitted at all. It's that's absolutely incredible. That's huge. That's a big razor. Put it next to the red imp. Just sort of dwarfs. I mean, even blade sizes. It just feels massive. What a cool razor. So I've got the Parker Razor and the Red Imp so far. There's one in here that I'm really excited about. <clears throat> Ooh. Round Point. Puma Steel. Puma Solingen. Man, these are all in mint condition though. Looks like it's bit waved or something. You can sort of see that with that light reflection around here. In here it just looks like the edge hasn't been taken up far enough. That's a beautiful looking razor. Killer stuff. So I'm not sure if you guys are noticing but uh, I'm becoming a bit of a fan of straights. <laughs> Oh, 
what's this one? This is the red, red Injun. So probably Japanese, is it? Oh no, Germany. It's by, uh, made by Boca, actually. I like the sway that it's got, that sort of smile on the spine. That's really nice. The scales are quite loose on this one. That's fine, I'm sure Russell can hook us up. Actually, this may even need new scales. The scales um, cracked at the pin. So obviously someone's gone to tighten it. <laughs> oh, I think that's the main one, so I'm just gonna leave that there until the end. Oh. Wow, this looks like fatty. Holy shit. Ground in Sheffield. That is a fat bit of steel. <laughs> That's so cool. This is Howell and Sons or Noel Noel and Sons. Established in 1700. Wow. <laughs> Look at that. That's just huge. That's a fat bit of metal, eh? Ooh, it's got another name engraved. C. Foster. A. Lecktown. Wow. And then there's another engraving, C. F. Looks like people engrave their names onto the straights. That's really cool. Alright, three more to go. <laughs> oh, this is sleek. Sleek scales. Good stuff. Another Sheffield razor. Bengal. Nice stuff. <laughs> it's probably worth giving them, like, test shaves. Just seeing if any of them actually sort of feel good. Nice, simple, sleek um, scale, similar to the King Williams that I used from Russell a couple of couple of days ago. Got another one here. This looks like an ivory, faux ivory sort of handle. Tennis. That looks sick. Tennis Solingen, and it's got a tennis racket on it. Once again, just beautiful clean bits of steel there. That's some, that's awesome. That's so cool. Beautiful. By the way, I'm not saying sizes because I've got no idea. Now this was one that a lot of people were trying to get. The golden rod. <laughs> That's nice. So I'm not sure if it used to have gold on, on here because it's sort of tarnished a little bit. So I'm guessing it used to have it, but just over where it's come off. Edless Pittsburgh, PA, made in Germany. Wow. Killer stuff. <laughs> awesome. So it still here if you watch this. Thank you so much, man. Um, you're really enabling someone. <laughs> so thank you for that. It's a beautiful amount of straights. Um, I'll probably give them test shaves. See, <coughs> excuse me. See how they go. And then if I'm not a fan, I'll probably pack them up, send them over to Russ for some edges, which one we're about to try out. So you guys stay tuned for that. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Keep smiling. Stay positive. I'll see you later.